Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Whiskey Whims with me, Stuart. Today we've got a Hazelburn 13 year old fresh bourbon and it's a cage bottle. Uh, it's a label on the front. Sorry if my nails are a bit manky, I've just been cleaning the car. Uh, and that's the label on the back. So it was um, distilled in 2009, uh, bottled in. Actually, I just realised on the back it says ah, 12 year old to 15 year old. Um, yeah, so it's 13 year old. It's 56.2% ABV and it only costs £75, which I think is pretty good for um, this type of whiskey. So on the nose straight away there's rapeseed uh, oil, there's like a honey um, wafer, like one of those honey biscuits. There's some pears, there's some melons. I think the ABV or the alcohol is uh, quite evident on the nose. Um, we will dry it with water, I'll put a little bit of water in and see how that develops the nose and the palate. But there's um, olive spread, um, that kind of alternative to butter. But yeah, I think we'll um, we'll, we'll, we'll go on to the palate uh, and then we'll move on to the uh, nose with water. Um, so the palate. So there's Rice Krispies cereal bar, that. Um, cereal bar that you get with the dried layer of kind of yogurt or milk on the bottom and um, there's definitely a kind of like a burnt hay or something uh, toasted malt uh, all of those kind of uh, synonyms they, they kind of quite similar um, tastes and quite similar uh, scents a little charring is evident uh, I feel that it's almost peated uh, I know it's not peated at all, but it's, it's just given that kind of illusion of it being peated because it's kind of from Springbank. Um, but there's a charring element to it. There's some bitter wood as well, which is giving you a little bit of spice. Um, and I'd possibly say something like creamy fudge uh, infused with licorice through it. So yeah, quite a quite a complex uh, dram. This is quite shaky. This. Um, stand uh, but yeah quite a complex drama feel so I'm gonna add some water I've added water to this before um, and I'll let you know how I feel about the water once we've uh, uh, got got down to some of the notes uh, so we'll put that there we'll leave that there so the nose with water yeah there's now like roasted almond coming through and I feel like the water has made way for the uh, funkier side of this Campbelltown malt um, so it's a little bit foosty it's a little bit dusty uh, and there's charred oak as well, again, uh, I think I had charring in the palate, there's, there's definitely this charred element in the nose. Quite a, overall quite like a toasted, uh, charred, kind of, um, yeah, kind of burnt dram if you will. Quite nice with the nose, with the addition of the water, giving it those extra elements of the almonds, um, roasted almonds, and then the, uh, Funkiness, it wasn't too uh, powerful in the original nose, but with the water, this funky, foosty elements come through, which is quite nice. The palette with the water. Um, maybe some white grapes in the palette with the water, but I feel like the palette stayed quite uh, samey. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the same as it was without the water. So it's helped the nose, but I don't think it's helped the, the palate too much. Um, and I actually prefer this, although the nose kind of uh, develops a little, I prefer this without water. I think it's okay to drink at the 56.2% ABV. Uh, obviously it's a little bit nippy in the nose, uh, but once you've once you've smelled it and tasted it a couple of times, it, 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 you, you acclimatise to that, that nose and uh, that, that powerful ABV. Uh, the finish is long. There's almonds again. Um, there's like burnt toast crust ends, uh, so the actual crust of the, the bread and it's burnt. Uh, I feel like there's kind of like apple skins in the, the, the finish and also something like panna cotta towards the end. Uh, can I, just to bring that kind of creaminess back, because um, it's a fresh bourbon cask uh, and there is a little bit of creaminess uh, in there. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a good dram, um, I really enjoy it. I've I've went through it at quite a quick rate uh, from when I've opened it. So we'll get down to the rate and um, if you're new here, I'm just going to take a sip first again. Mm. 
That kind of sweet, creamy, fudgy element's really nice in it. But yeah, we'll get down to the rating. So if you're new here, how I rate my whiskies on three factors. Uh, would I buy it again? Do I think it's worth it? And would I recommend it? If we get two out of three, it's a whiskey win. Uh, if we get only one out of three, it's a whiskey bin. So, do I think it's worth it? It's £75, I do. It's 13 year old, cash strength, non chill filler, no added colouring. Um, yeah, it's still relatively young, 13 year old and £75 could be argued being a little bit expensive, but the flavours I'm getting and the fact that it's a spring bank and it's the fact that it's a cage bottle and that you have to, um, you have to go and pick up. You can't just, I mean, you can get them off auctions and stuff, but you'll probably pay a little bit more. But you actually have to go to the distillery to pick it up, it gets your name on it. Um, it's kind of an experience. Uh, yeah, I think £75 worth it. Uh, would I buy it again? Um, I don't think I would buy it again because I want to explore ma more Hazelburn uh, and this is nice and it, I am really enjoying it as I've said uh, but I think one of the reasons I won't buy it again is because I know I can't. <laughs> uh, like it's, it's, it's a kind of um, once in a lifetime type thing uh, or maybe not once in a lifetime but there might be some on the auctions but it's quite a limited uh, release uh, and it's all always changing, the cage bottles are always changing. Uh, would I recommend it? Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. It's lovely, I've tried to give it out to as many people as I can, um, and if you really want a dram, do hit me up and I'll try and get you one. So yeah, it's a whiskey win, uh, definitely. It's a really tasty dram, one that I've been exploring a lot, one that I've been reaching for a lot, uh, as my last video. So yeah, thanks for watching. I've been Whiskey Wims. No, I've been Stuart, this has been Whiskey Wims. I'll see you later.